vijana naambiwa baada ya ibada mtabaki kwa muda mfupi. Asanteni sana. Haleluya. Amen. Basi labda tumii ni wape salamu wala ambao hawakuepo siku za katikati ya wiki. Jumaa na Jumatano lakini nilileta salamu kutoka kanisa la Mwanza wale wasalimia leo wale wote ambao wamkwepo na ninyi shirikini baraka hizo katika jina la Bwana.
sisi tuzisikizishe sauti zetu kwa Mungu. Roho wa Mungu una sifa. Roho wa Mungu mema.
Thank you. 
Praise the Lord, you have
Amen. Tunaweza tukakaa. Amen. We may get the opportunity to be made famous. There's no need people who never depends on him truly. If you depend on God, kabisa, kabisa, truly, mtu wa kawaida, you won't be just a common person. Mambo mengi because many things you'll be left, you'll leave them alone. The things that are normal to human beings. You will stay away from men of them. And that's why a person God. He seems like he lacks something. Especially to his mind. It's as if the knowledge of the world. Si kwamba hajui It's not that he does not know lakini hawezi kumezwa na dunia but he cannot be consumed by the world Hatiririki na mto wa ulimwengu He does not flow in the leaf of the world Dunia inaelekea kule As the world goes this way Wa Mungu ana, anaenda kinyume chake The one of God goes to the opposite side Bwana atusaidie sana Lord help us much Kwa kweli moyoni mwangu kuna kitu kimoja tu. Surely in my heart there is one thing. Mungu alijenge kanisa. God build the church. Mungu akijenga kanisa. If God builds the church, tutapata mahara pa kukimbilia. We shall get somewhere to run to. Tutapata makimbilio. We shall get our rescue there. Kanisa likikosa. If the church lacks, mtu atakuwa wapi? Where will the person be? Na wakikishia kanisa lisipojengwa. I ensure you if the church is not built. Hakuna usalama. There is no safety. Kwenye dini hakuna usalama. In a region there is no safety. Hata kwenye ulokole siku hizi hakuna usalama. Even to the so called local people there is no safety. Lazima kuwe na ujenzi wa kanisa. There must be a construction of the church. Na kuna kitu kimoja tu. And there is only one thing. Ambacho Mungu amekiweka kwa ujenzi wa mioyo yetu. That God has set for the rebuilding of our hearts. Ni ufunuo wa msalaba. Is the revelation of the cross. Ufunuo wa injili ya msalaba. The, revel the revelation of the gospel of the cross. Kama kuna ufunuo if there is no revelation, kuna mti. there is just a wood. Kuna mti wa msaraba. There is a wood made of in a crossway. Kuna maneno ya msaraba. There are just empty words of the cross. Lakini hakuna maisha ya msaraba. But there is no life of the cross. Maisha ya msaraba. The life of the cross. Lazima ya ondo, ya tokane na ufunuo ulioko ndani ya msaraba. They have to come from the liberation that is inside that cross. Unajua msaraba sio tu kusurubishwa juu yake. You know about the cross is not about crucifixion on it. Na haukuanzia kwa Yesu. And the, that not start with 
Jesus. Wayunani walikuwa wanawasuhubisha watu wao. There are people who used to crucify their people. Wayunani walikuwa wanafanya hiyo kitu. They did that. The Greek people used to crucify their people on the cross. Lakini hata leo kuna watu wanasulubishwa msalabani. Even today people are crucified on the cross. Na kuna kipindi niliona hata kwenye mahali fulani kwamba mtu amejitoa asulubishwe naye. And there is a certain time I saw in a certain clip that somebody has decided to be crucified. Lakini ufunuo ulio ndani ya kifo cha Yesu Kristo. But the liberation that is is inside the death of Jesus Christ. Ambacho kinatokana na na msaraba. The death that comes out of the cross. Kuna nguvu ndani yake. There is power in it. Inayo weza kuyafunua maisha yangu that can open my life nikayaona maisha yangu and i may see my life na nika nina, nikapata neema ya Mungu and i get god's grace ya kunisaidia mimi to help me nikubali kusurubisha zile sura zilizo tofauti na Mungu zilizoko ndani yangu to crucify all the facial things that are in me that are against God Mambo mengine ni kama maigizo bile. Other things are just actions. Mtu anasema ameokoka. A person says I'm sad. Lakini hiyo haitoshi. But that's not enough. Mimi nimekwambia siku moja hivi. I told you once that kumwamini Yesu au kuokolewa to be saved or believing in Christ ni kama kufungua tu mlango pa. It's just like opening the door. Na ukaingia tu ndani. And you just come in. Unaweza ukabaki mlangoni pale. You may na usijue ni kitu gani kilicho ndani ya nyumba. And pray to know what's inside the house. Lakini kutoka mwilini kwenda rohoni. But moving from your flesh to the spirit. Inagarimu maisha yako kutoka pale ulipoingilia pale. Because yourself from where you started from. Kuanza kuvunjwa kuanzia pale. Starting being broken from there. Ile hali ya ndani ya tabia yako. That state of your heart ile sura ya mapokeo yako ya maisha that image of your reception ile hali ambayo Mungu a, mwanadamu alikukuza nayo the state that a human being help you grow it tabia yako uliyokuwa nayo kwa ndugu zako the behavior you had to your relatives mahusiano yako na ukoo wako the relationship with your clan mambo yote yasiyotokana na Mungu all things out of God uliyoyapata ya kajenga maisha yako that you got and the build your life Mungu anaanza kuyavunja hapo starts to break them there moja baada ya jingine one after another kiburi kinaondoka the pride moves out hasira inaondoka the anger goes kuita wewe ni mura inaondoka you being called that you are like an elder son or the strong son pakufike mahali to reach a point to be a common a normal weze kuelekezwa na yule ambaye usingependa kuelekezwa so that you can be directed by the one you despise or the one you did not think of mradi Mungu tu anamtumia mtu huyo just because god is using that particular person when you come to kanisani has been in the church hakumsaidi mtu does not help a person isipokuwa moyoni mwake apart from the heart akifunuliwa siri ya ufunuo wa msalaba if the secret of the cross is revealed in ili maisha yake aanze kuyaweka hapo so that he can start putting his life clear yatengenezwe hapo to be more there haki zake ziishe all his rights to end bwana tusaidie sana lord help us much unashangaa you can to wonder tunaanza kujengwa pamoja We start being built together. Mimi ninapoteza, I lose. Naye anapoteza. And he loses. Yeye yeah, anakubali, he accepts. Na mimi ninakubali. And I accept. Mimi kupoteza, to lose. Mimi namtanguliza, I set her before me. Na yeye yeah, ananitanguliza. And he sets me before him. Siku moja tulienda mahali. One day we went somewhere. Tulikuwa na rafiki yangu mmoja. We were with my friend. Tukaenda kununua kitu. And we went to buy something. Kwanza tukasema hebu tununue tununue kinywaji hapa. We say let's buy a drink from here. Sasa tukatunywe bana tukachukua tukaanza kunywa. And we say let's 
And before the owner of the shop would have has taken my money, the host said, No, don't take that money. I'm going to pay for it. Uyo ni mgeni. He's a visitor. Na mina sema, apana, mimi ngeni meli. And I said, No, I don't pay. Uyo na yana sema, apana. And he also said, No, let me pay. Asa yule mwenye nuka akasimamu. And the owner of the shop said, Akatuangalia. He looked at us. Akasema, nini ni watu wa namna gani? And he said, what kind of people are you? Kila mmoja anataka kumsaidia mwenza. Hivi nini ni watu wa namna gani? And he questioned, everyone needs to help the other one. What kind of people are you? Alafu, akasema, and he said, basi kama ni hivyo, if it's so, na mimi ni natoa. I am also going to pay for you. Kwa hivyo, chukwe hivyo. Has take your money. And we were saying take. And he's also saying take. And then the host. And he asked me, you should take. And I said, no, just take. It. The owner of the shop was given you. Not me. Kila mtu anakataa. Everyone is refusing. Nilikaacha hapo. I left it there. Nikaona nianze kuondoka. I saw that it's why he was there. Na mwanangu anaacha. And he also left the hand and started leaving. Huyu naye anasema tena alikuwa muindi akisema hapana mwana. Hapana. Naomba tafadhali. He was an Indian person and he started begging, please take this money. Chukue ni muondoke. Please take this money and leave. Tukachukua tukaondoka. And we took the money and left. Lakini kitu kimoja ambacho yule jamaa alishangaa. But one thing that he ended up wondering about. Hakutegemea aone watu ambao. He never expected to meet people that. Wako tayari kwa jambo fulani. They are ready for a certain thing. Unajua maisha ya siku hizi. You know today's life. Yamebadilika sana. Has totally changed. Kila mtu anavutia kwake. Everyone is pulling to us. Kila mtu angependa asaidiwe. Everyone needs assistance. Kila mtu angepokea kwa mwenzake. Everyone wish to receive from someone. He wishes not to be the one who He did not wish to, to lose. Na hiyo ni tabia ya mwanadamu. And that's a human kind of Hapendi mwanadamu apoteze. A human being never likes to lose. Kama ni haki yako unaitaka. If it's your right you really need. Kama ni mahakamani utaitafuta haki yako. Even if it's going to the court to seek for your right. Maana ni haki yako. Because it's your right. Kama ni mume wako anaifanya utaitaka. If it's your husband you desire. Maana unaitaka kwa mume wako. You really demand it from your husband. Unaitaka kwa mke wako. You demand it from your wife. Lakini kanisani humo but in the church tena umeokoka and you call yourself saved au naimba imba kidogo or you are singing a little bit kuna watu wanaimba imba kidogo there are people who just sing a little bit lakini Mungu atusaidie sana but God should help us much ili maisha yetu yajengwe so that our lives tuwe na roho moja to have the same spirit tuwe na nia moja to have the same will tuwe na mungu moja having the same heart tuwe na baba yetu wa mbinguni moja having a single heavenly father injiri moja with the same gospel nataka niwaambie wapendwa i want to tell you beloved ni ngumu sana sasa hivi it's very hard today kitu kimekuwa kigumu leo Something that is very difficult today. Ni ujenzi wa mtu ambaye alikuwa ameokoka. It's the construction of the person who knew that he was saved. Unajua hii injili wakati Mungu ameanza kutusaidia. You know when God started helping us concerning the gospel. Ni tukuta tumeokoka. It found us saved. Na tulikuwa na na mjengo ambao tayari tumejijenga. And we had our own construction. Tukua tumesha jengwa vile tumejengwa. We were built the way we were. Na ufunuo ulipokuja. And when the revelation came. 
Kwanza ni kama yule aliyeuleta. First of all it's as if the one who Ni kama alikuja kuhubiri watu ambao hatujaokoka. He came to preach to the people who are not saved. Ni kama alikuja kuhubiri watu ambao hawajaokoka. It's as if he came to preach to people who are unsaved. Lakini sisi tuliona tumeokoka. But we saw ourselves that we were already saved. Lakini pamoja na kwamba tulikuwa tumeokoka, but even though we were saved, hatukuwa na roho moja. We never had the same spirit. Tuligombana tu. We fought. Tulibishana sana. We argued much. Tulitofautiana sana. And we had much differences. Na nataka niwahakikishie wapendwa. And I want to ensure you be loved. Kazi hiyo itaendelea. That work will continue. Mpaka Yesu arudi. Till when Jesus comes back. Tutawahubiri watu. We'll preach the people. Watakuja kanisani. They will come to church. Tutataka Mungu awasaidie. We will want God to help them. Waone ni kitu gani kinachokabili mioyo yetu. To see what things encounter their lives. Ni kitu gani kinakabili maisha yetu. What things encounter our lives. Ni kwa nini maisha yetu Mungu anataka yaingiliane zaidi? What's the reason that makes God want our life to intervene? Mungu alikuja kutengeneza mwili wake, mwili wa Kristo. God came to mold his own body, the body of Christ. Sisi mwili wa Kristo. We are the body of Christ. Sisi sio tu wa Kristo tu. We are not just Christians. Lakini ni zaidi ya wa Kristo. But we are more than Christians. Sisi ni mwili. We are the body. Ni kiungo, ni viungo katika mwili mmoja. We are the part all the body parts. Wewe ni kiungo na mimi ni kiungo. I am a body part likewise to you. Bwana asifiwe sana. Praise the Lord. Sina mambo yangu mwenyewe. I have my own. I do not have my own. Wapendwa mimi niko hapa sina mambo yangu mwenyewe. I do not have my own things. Mambo yangu ili niwe salama lazima wewe unisaidie. For me to be safe you are all to help me. Na kama uweze kusema na mimi And if you cannot speak with me. Mwambie anayeweza kusema na mimi. Tell the one who can speak to me. Kwamba mchungaji ana matatizo. That the pastor is having some problems. Na kija huyo mwenye uwezo wa kusema na mimi. And if that person who is able to speak to me. Sitamuuliza nani amekuambia. I want question him who told you so. Nitaangalia moyo wako. I will have to inspect my heart. Bas. That's all. Nitaangalia maisha yangu. I'll look upon my life. Itaangalia moyo wangu. I'll look upon my heart. Mimi wapendwa. I beloved ones. Sikuokoka ili niishie hapa duniani. I was not saved so as to end of the world. Mimi nataka kumuona Mungu siku. I really want to see God one day. Nataka kukaa na Mungu wangu siku. I want to sit one day with my God. Siku moja nikae na baba yangu. One day to sit with my father. Kuhubiri sio sio ajira. Preaching is not unemployment. Kwamba nimeajiriwa kuhubiri. That I am employed to preach. Inawezekana kuna siku sitaubiri. It might be that there will come a day that I won't be able to preach. Lakini bado nitakuwa mtu wa nitatakiwa niende mbinguni. But still I'll be able to go to heaven. Bwana asifiwe sana. Praise the Lord. Kwa hivyo mtu anaweza kuja kuniambia. Has a person may come and tell me. Bwana sitajiuliza. I want question myself. Nani huyu amekuambia? Who told you so? Hapana. No. Tulifanya hivyo wakati tulikokuwa kule. We did so when we were there. Tulikuwa tukuingiliana. There was no intervention. Ukisikia jambo limesemwa kwa maisha yako. If you hear something spoken upon your life. Unaanza kupeleleza watu. You start in speculating for the information unatafuta nani amekuele ameeleza hilo speculating who said so and so ili uwe salama for you to be safe lazima maisha yako yawe hapa you have to put your life open yawe wazi put your life open maisha yako yawe wazi your life should be open ili wengine wayaguse so that others can reach the alafu moyo wako uwe salama and your heart stay to be safe alafu mungu atakuona na hii atakuheshimu. And God will respect you. Bwana asifiwe sana. Praise the Lord. Mungu atakuheshimu. God will respect you. Maana anaona hivi. Because he seen that. Haujipiganii mwenyewe. You are not fighting for yourself. Unamwachia Mungu. You are leaving everything to God. Afanye kazi yake. To do his own work. Wapendwa ili tumuone Mungu. We love you and for us to see God. Lazima kuna kazi. There is work. Kuna kazi. There is work. 
ambayo wakati mwingine mwanadamu huwa haipendi the work that at times a human being never likes it bana sifa sana praise the lord hebu muulize jirani yako hivi kweli unasikiliza ask your neighbor if he is truly listening hebu unasikiliza kweli ask your neighbor are you listening Are you listening? <laughs> Where is your wife? <laughs> The church is the body of Christ. Tunahitaji Mungu afanye kazi kwenye mioyo yetu. We need God to do something in our hearts. Hapo ndio tutamwona Mungu. That's why we shall seek him. Wapendwa kama tunakuja hapa. Beloved ones, if we are coming here. Mmoja upate hasara. And one day you gain a loss. Labda hukuambiwa. Maybe you are not told. Sasa si utamlaumu Mungu bila. You will have to blame the preacher. Tutamwambia Bwana ukuniambia. You will ask him, you never told me so. Mimi naambia ukweli. I'm telling you the truth. Kuna siku. The reason is Yesu atakapenya kwa kanisa. When Jesus takes the church. Kuna wa Kristo wataenda hata na marungu. Some Christians will go with the fighting too. Mtafuta aliyekuwa na wapi. Who find the one who was preaching to them? You have been lying lying to us for many days. Kwa hiyo tunatakiwa mioyo yetu ipone. Hence our hearts need to be healed. Na ninyi akina wakungu akina mama. And you grandmas. Lazima mioyo yenu mkubali itengenezwe. Your hearts have to be made. Kwa Mungu hakuna mzee. In God there is no old age. Hapana. No. Kwa Mungu ni wote. To God we are all. Uwezi kuishi maisha ya ovyo ovyo. You cannot live anyhow. Unakasirika kasirika ovyo ovyo. You get angry anyhow. Umekasirikia kwa kamwana tangu kijana wako ameoa bado wewe unakisirani ndani. You are you have felt that anger since your son got married till today to your daughter's in law. Alafu unakuja kanisani and you are coming to church and sitting and you make yourself forget Umu nasahau. you forget here Ukitoka hapa when you just get outside moja. you start afresh na nyinyi vijana and you young men and the ladies Mungu anisaidie tuingiliane sana God help me so that we can interview maana nyinyi vijana 
Because to you, youth, <laughs> it's a sin you are using marijuana. <laughs> Someone can be boiled of something. <laughs> something without the head or the head. <laughs> and he sees nobody to rebuke him. How is it possible for you to come to church and say And you start telling your fellows. You start talking while you are in the church. We are preaching there. And you are having your own meetings here at the back. How many churches do we have here? Are you also the preacher here? You have never even for a single day sat in front and you don't want to come back to church. Every day you are hiding at the back bench. And you are disturbed but you don't realize that you are disturbed. Siku moja ufanya hatu kaya mbele. Just for a simple day, you may just step and sit at the first seat. Happy jam. No, you have. What then? Beloved. You know, beloved ones, to some of us, we can't know each other. We cannot know each other. God has to help us. Not just hiding here when we come to church. Praise the Lord. Are you there, beloved ones? Praise the Lord. Let's pray for each other, beloved ones. There is something that is ahead of us. Something concerning the construction or building of the church. I'll read the word of God. Uh, Philemon. From the book of Philemon. Philemon. Before the book of Hebrews, Kitab Chapter Philemon, Mustari Wanani. Philemon, verse eight. Akuna Sura, ni Sura ni Moja too. It has only a single chapter. Anasema, kwa hiyo ni japokuwa ni na ujasiri katika kristo kukua giza ni kupasano, lakini kwa jili ya upendo na kusigi kwa kuwa ni kama ni livyo. Kwa kuwa ni kama ni livyo, paulo mzee na sasa mfungwa wa kristo yesu pia. I'll read verse 8 to verse 9. Therefore, Though I might be very bold in Christ to command you what is fitting, yet for love's sake I rather appeal to you, being such a one as Paul, the aged, and now also a prisoner of Jesus Christ. Psalm wa kumi, na kusihi kwa jili ya mtoto wangu nilie mza katika vifungo vyangu, yani onesimu, ambaye zamani alikuwa hakufai bali sasa hakufaa sana wewe na mimi pia verse 10 to 11 
I appeal to you for my son Onesmus, whom I have begotten while in my, in my chains, who once was unprofitable to you, but now is profitable to you and to me. Niliemtuma kwako, yeye mwenyewe mani ni moyo wangu hasa. Verse 12, I am sending him back. You therefore receive him, that's my own heart. Bwana sifai sana. Praise the Lord. Unaona mtumishi wa Mungu. You can see this servant of God. Anamfafanua mtu mbele ya mwingine. He is explaining or defining someone in front of someone else. Unajua Paulo alikuwa na watu wengi sana aliwagu. You know Paul preached to so many people. Lakini hakuwa na watu wengi waliokuwa na moyo wake. But not many of them were having or carrying that heart of his. Wengi walikuwa wanapenda injili yake. Many love his gospel. Walipenda aliyohubiri. They love how he preached. Walipenda miujiza. They love miracles. Lakini hawakujua moyo wake ulikuwa umebeba nini. But they did not know what his heart was crying. Mkiwa ukiishi na mtu if you are living with someone labda ni mume au ni mke wako maybe your husband or your wife zamani ilikuwa ni ngumu kufahamu moyo wake long ago it was very hard to understand someone's heart na kila mtu alikuwa hayuko tayari kuweka moyo wake wazi and each one was not ready to set his or her heart free mara nyingi alikuwa akijitetea every time they would defend themselves akijitetea na wewe ukijitetea defending themselves and also you defend yourself ukizuia mambo fulani fulani hata yasijulikane when you stop some things not be known mimi ninakumbuka wakati tunaishi na, na, na mama mke wangu i recall when we were living with my wife kulikuwa na mambo nilikuwa sijawahi kumwambia there are things that i have never told her tuliokoka we were saved tukaendelea kwenye wokovu and we moved on in this salvation lakini nilikuwa nimefanya makosa fulani but there were some mistakes that i did ambayo sikutaka nimwambie that i never wanted to maana niliwahi kumdanganya kabla hatujaokoka because i lied to her before we were saved nilimdanganya kabla hatujaokoka i lied to her before we were saved sasa tulipokuwa tumeokoka hence as we were getting saved niliona ni ngumu kumwambia haya i saw that it's very difficult for me to speak out this ni kweli tuli tulianza ku mioyo yetu kuimwaga kwa bwana surely we started pouring our hearts to the lord lakini kulikuwa na mambo ambayo nisinge mwambie but there are things that i could not tell to her labda ningetibua hali ya hewa maybe i will trigger that instead ningechafua mambo maana nikimwambia yote i will pollute everything because if i start speaking na yalikuwa ni makosa nitachafua and there were wrong doings na nitamchafua Okay. Pollute the, 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 the environment. Na nitamchafua moyo. And I also pollute her heart. Kwa hivyo nilialika ndani yao. Hence I kept them in me. Na yeye kulikuwa na mambo and to her there were things. Ambayo ilikuwa ni ngumu aniambie. That they were very hard for her to tell me. Maana angenichafua moyo. Because she would that find my heart. Kwa hivyo alibaki nayo. She stayed with them. Nikabaki nayo. And I stayed with mine. Ndani ya moyo wangu in my heart sikuwa huru kabisa I wasn't free Nilimpenda Mungu I loved God na yeye alimpenda Mungu And she loved God Na kwa kweli kwa watu ambao wangeliweza kupata sifa And for the people who would have got praises hata mimi ningepata sifa I would have maana mimi na mke wangu tulikuwa na tabia hii because i with my wife had a certain behavior tuki tukiingia ndani whenever we get in tutaongea sana we shall talk very much baadaye tutaanza kuimba and later on we shall start singing kuimba tens 
singing from the book of hymns. Ninaimba, ninaimba. I sing as she sings. Tunaimba, tunaimba. We just sing. Tunaimba kabisa. We sing surely. Kutoka kwenye mioyo yetu. From the inner parts of our hearts. Tunaanza kuomba. We start praying. Tutalia sana. We shall pray very much. Tutaliombea kanisa sana. We shall pray for the church much. Lakini kuna mambo Siwezi kumwambia. Yasije akamchafua. So that I may not pollute her. Hakuna mambo. And there are things. Hawezi kuniambia. She cannot tell me. Maana atanichafua. Because she will pollute. Hii na maana. This means moyo wangu my heart ulikuwa na mambo ambayo hayakuwa sawa. Had things that were not okay. Na ningeweza kuchafuliwa na chochote. And I will be terrified by anything. Na ningeweza kuharibika moyo. And my heart will be triggered. Hata kwa kuambiwa ukweli. Even by being told what is Maana kama niliyafanya because if I did them, niliyafanya miaka mingi. I did them for a long time ago. Na huo ulikuwa ndio ukweli. And that was the truth. Na nikimwambia hata kama nimeacha even if I left them, lakini kwa kuwa niliyofanya because I did that ya taliamsha dude <laughs> The only trick is that on her heart Hadi kila mtu ana tunaongea mambo mengi Yes we told a lot Nikitaka kusema whatever you feel like talking Mama tumeambiwa kanisani tufungue mioyo. Because we have been told in the church to open our hearts. Na mengine yalikuwa ni masdara endelevu. And some were continuous events. Lakini una bana. Still you have the fear. Mungu alipotusaidia. When God helped us. Injili ya ufunuo ikae. Through the gospel. Mioyo yetu ikawepo wazi. And our hearts were put open. Nikaanza kujiona nilivyo. I started seeing how I am. Maisha yangu nikaanza kuyaweka wazi. I started putting my life open. Na injili wakati imekuja. And when the gospel came, vile ilivyokuwa na nguvu. The way it was strong. Ilivyo nikonga maisha yangu. The way it not my light. Mnajua ni sema ukweli wa peli wa. Mimi nilitamani hata nisome mhubiri kabisa. I desire not to be even a preacher. Yeye niliyapima maisha yangu. I just had to measure my own life. Nikawaza ninaweza kuwa hivi. And I thought I, I can be on injili ilipohubiriwa. When the gospel was preached, nikayaona maisha yangu vile ambavyo ninaweza kuwa hivi. And I saw how my life was. Na ninahubiri. And I'm preaching. Ah, nikaona sasa iko wapi faida sasa and i saw where is the profit now kwanza wale nilio wahubiri even to those that i preached hawawezi kubadilika they cannot change maana moyoni mwangu hapabadiliki because my heart is not changing na wao and to them hawajui they do not know kama mke wangu hajui that my wife does not know na wao watajuaje if my wife does not know how will they know hawawezi kujua they cannot know wataendelea kuwa wadhaifu tu they will stay be weak baadaye later on kanza tu kujieleza tu we started explaining ourselves naeleza tu you explain yourself Matokeo yakiwa mazuri sawa yasipokuwa mazuri basi. When the results are good, yes, and when they are not good, you have to accept it. Lakini unaeleza maisha yako. But you tell out your life. Na mwenzako anaeleza maisha yako. And the fellow also explains. Ulikuwa ni kama ni kama mchezo fulani. It was just like a game. Lakini ulianza kuleta uhuru kwenye maisha yako. But it started bringing about freedom in our lives. Ikaanza kuleta uhuru kwenye moyo wangu. It started bringing freedom in my heart. Tukaanza kuonana kuingiliana mioyo. And we started intervening in our hearts. Mioyo yetu ikaanza kuelewana. Our hearts started acknowledging each other. Tukaanza kuwa kitu kimoja. And we started being one. Yale tulikuwa tunao. We reduced the match. Hata jana nilikuwa namwambia. Yes, I was telling her kama nikifunga kama nilivyokuwa nafunga miaka ya 80 If I start fasting as I used to fast in the 1980s 
na kuja tisini hapo to the 1990s nafikiri utaniombea nisifunge i think you shall pray for me not to fast kwa sababu nilikuwa naomba because i would pray mpaka nasahau ni chakula gani kwangu ninaweza nikala I pray until I forget what kind of food I should take. Mpaka huyu mama alikuwa anajiuliza sasa tengeneze nini? And she will end up asking herself what she do. Atanda nini sasa ili mimi nile? What will she prepare so that I can eat? Yaani unashindwa kuelewa utakula nini? You fail to understand what you really want to eat. Unaishia kunywa chai. You end up taking tea. Lakini bado hamuelewani. But still there was no understanding. Kwa well, mimi ninaamini hivi wapenda. Yes, I believe this because very big that God is going to do. Na wapendwa hili litasemwa mpaka Yesu arudi. And this will be spoken of till the coming of Jesus. Ni ujenzi wa mioyo yetu. It is the building of our hearts. Bwana asifiwe sana. Praise the Lord. Kukubali kifo cha kila siku. To accept daily death. Kukubali kifo kila siku. To accept daily death. Kupoteza kila siku. To lose everything. Katika maisha ulionayo. In the life you are having. Kila siku. Accept it. Wakati mwingine unashangaa kama mwili anataka kuamka. Atans you wonder that the body wants to serve. Ili ajitetee. So that the body can defend itself. Unagundua. And you recognize that. Kwamba huyu ni tabia wa mwili. That this is the behavior of the body. Lazima usurubishwe. And you will have to be crucified. Nimekubali kwenda chini. I accept going down. Na wapendwa haiishi. And beloved ones it does not end. Haitaisha kamwe. It will never end. Madam huko mwilini so long as you live in the flesh wewe jipime tu you have to take measurements of your life wewe jipime tu just measure yourself unakaa wiki moja you stay for a week umenikubali jambo and you have accepted something ukikaa baada ya mwezi after saying for a man ni kama tena linaanza kukukera it's as if it starts annoying you ni kama tena unaona kama kama vile huyu mtu anajifanya it's as if this person is proud of himself Ni kama anajifanya huyu mtu. He is just pretending. Mbona tunasikia injili na yeye? Why are we hearing the gospel together? Mbona kama naona tena anataka kama kuwa kama yeye asiki? And why is he acting as if he's not hearing the same gospel? Unashangaa mtu anakujibu neno? You end up wondering a person answers you. Neno zito. A very heavy word. Alafu na waza. And you come to think. Leo ametokea wapi? Where did he come from? Na kuna wengine and they also kwa sababu ya kutokujua because of not knowing kwamba hii kazi ni ya kila siku that this is a continuous work baadaye wanajishangaa later on they end up wameanza kurudiwa na ile hali ya kwanza that the initial state is coming back na unapoanza kurudiwa na ile hali ya kwanza and as that initial state comes back unasikia vibaya zaidi kuliko pale you feel more kwanza. bad than the initial point Yaani unasikia vibaya zaidi. You feel more bad than it was at first. Mi na nashukuru Mungu wakati mwingine. I thank God at times. Mungu ametupa nafasi. God has given us a chance. Ni vizuri ukiweka wazi moyo wako. It's good if you set your heart open. Ukiona shida imekukuta. Whenever you see a problem and come to Usikae na tatizo moyoni. Don't stay with that problem in your heart. Hapana. No. Nenda muambie liambie kanisa. Go enter the church. Muambie ndugu yako. Tell your brother. Ambaye unajua ni mtu wa kanisa. That you know he or she is of the church. Msipende kuambizana yale mlioshinda tu. Don't tell each other the things you overcame. Hata yale ambayo umeshindwa. Even the things you failed. Muambie. Tell him or her. Atakusaidia. He will help in one way. Atakutia moyo. He will encourage you. Maana ukiishi because if you live kumbe una mambo yanakukabili magumu while you are having things that are very difficult na kumbe umeshindwa na mambo fulani fulani and maybe you are failing 
a certain area. Hence, you are not the one living. You are living an hypocrite. Because that's not the way you are. You are not to live your pure life. So that people can know who you really are. Do not hide anything. Because you are the God of Christ. We are of the same thing. If I hear my God pass on the earth, I can't Unless I'm confused. That's what Brother Masinda is saying. He said here. I have to get that heart of accepting and carrying my fellows with peace. With peace. He is weak, yes. But without peace. I am helping him or her when I am at peace. Because I am not saying so, it does not mean that he or she is allowed to do as he wills. Man, you if you do as you think is correct, it's very dangerous for you. It's very dangerous. Not to the one you are doing on. It's dangerous to you. And he may be patient. So that his or her heart may be saved. You live without lamentation. You are free. You love your brother. You just see him that he's worthy. Like this brother is saved by Jesus. Why should I struggle with him? Jesus loved him. If Jesus loves him, what kind of spirits am I going to if I'm struggling with him? I see myself as I'm a wrong person. And I say even that I love Jesus, but I do not. And you cannot love Jesus while you hate your neighbor. And the church is built. Our hearts are built. Praise the Lord. We cannot come out wondering with a certain day that you are an angel. It cannot be so. But God must continue doing something. Leo, you dad, I the sister spoke. The brother spoke here. He said that. 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 He that if this church were in Roria, I would be fellowshipping with them. The church is not there. We encourage him that you can go to Serari. Yes, I can go to Serari. It's not that the whole team will be going to Siran. There's something I want to tell you, beloved. God to help us. Your life is not your own. As you live according to God's will, it's not for your own sake. Not only because you are going to heaven, but you set a door for someone else to move. So that someone else can know God. You cannot be in church living a house. And you expect someone to come following you. It's impossible. Na wengine watakuja huu ambao hata wengine umewambia maneno mabaya huko nje. Maybe you have told them bad things. Umegomba na naye huko. Maybe you have fought with them. Ujamaa aliyechukua uwanja hapa. 
The person who took this field here. Hatu, tulikuwa na haki zote za kutokubalia. We had all the rights not to give the plot. Na asinge tushinda hata siku moja. And he will never win. Lakini tukawaza. But we can to think. Siku moja, one day, huyu jamaa na familia yake, the brother with the family, atakwemo kanisani. Maybe he come to church. Alafu tutamhubiri. And we shall preach. Namna ya kuachilia. How to live things out. Namna ya kuachilia vitu. To live things. Wakati ule sisi tumeshindwa kuachilia. And at that same time we failed to live. Na tumemshinda. And we went maybe to the laws and the war. Kwa kufanya hivyo. By doing so. Tumemfungia mlango yeye. We are closed his door. Lakini sisi kwa kumruhusu aishi. But for us allowing him to Tumefungua mlango wa kumwambia maneno ya Mungu. We have opened the door for us to tell the, him the word of God. Hawezi kutulaumu. He cannot blame us. Tukimwambia namna ya kuachilia. When we tell him about anajua it, kwa uhakika anajua. He surely knows that. Kwamba ni kweli. That truly it's true. Ukifanya kitu cha ovyo ovyo. If you do things anyhowly. Hujiharibi wewe tu kwenda mbinguni. You do not stray away to heaven. Lakini pia unapambana na kazi ya Mungu. But you are struggling or mingling with the work of God. Unapambana na kazi ya Mungu. You are struggling with the work of God. Ndio maana kuna watu that's why there are people mpaka wengine wanajiuliza till others end up questioning nafikiri juma pili yeye nyingine ulisikia kaseke ndio alieleza I think the other Sunday you heard brother Kaseke speaking here Ali, alikuwa anajiuliza hivi He was questioning himself Mwanzoni alikuwa anajiuliza hivi Initially he will question himself Hivi ina maana tu watu wenye ufunuo wa msalaba ndio wataenda mbinguni That does it mean the, the only people who will go to heaven are the ones with the liberation of the cross lakini ningekuuliza swali. And if I might uh, ask you a question. Kwenye Biblia hii, in this Bible, tangu mwanzo, from Genesis mpaka ufunuo, to Revelation, ni kama wote walibeba msalaba. It's as if all carried the cross. Wote walibeba msalaba. All carried the cross. Kabla ya msalaba, before the cross, wale walioishi maisha ya kumpendeza Mungu. They ones who lived a pleasing life to God. Waliasurubisha msalabani. They crucified their lives. Waliachilia mambo yao. They let their things go. Walikubali kupoteza. They acknowledge to lose. Wali walibeba msalaba. And they carried their cross. Katika ufunuo wao, in the liberation, kabla ya ule mti kuonekana, before that wooden thing to be seen, maisha yao yaliishi msalaba. They lives lived according to the cross. Walio wote ambao wame, wanaweza kumuona Mungu has all who can see God lazima Mungu awe awashughulikie mioyo yao God has to deal with their hearts hata kama ule mtu hawataona even if they want see that wooden cross lakini lazima wawe na ufunuo wa kuachilia maisha yao but they have to have that revelation of Kina the Lord Kila Ibrahimu aliambiwa toka wewe uende Abraham was told move from your own homeland and go acha kila kitu leave everything wakaondoka wakaenda and they left kina Yusufu even Joseph walifukuzwa kwao they were chased away from them wali wanaondolewa na ndugu zao they were taken away by their brothers wakaenda wakaishi kwa kwa kama watumwa they lived as slaves wakafungwa gerezani they were chained wakakubali they accepted wakaishi maisha hayo and they lived that life maisha ya msalaba that's the life of the cross Hawakuchanganya maisha yao. They did not go on, compromise their life. Pamoja na wale walioishi nao. Together with the people they lived with. Hawakuchanganya maisha yao. They never compromise their life. Nani anaweza kwenda mbinguni? Who can go to heaven? Asipokubali kupoteza haki zake. If he does not or she does not accept to lose his or her rights. Kwa hivyo tagundua hivi. Has you come to realize that? Kwenda mbinguni. Going to heaven. Lazima kupita njia nyembamba. You have to pass through the narrow road. Wewe ukaenda tu na njia pana. You want to use the white gate. Haiwezekani. It's impossible. Na nataka niwaambie and I want to tell you. Kama bwana Kasekenda aliyosema. As a brother Kasekenda. Kwamba kuna mengine tunaweza tukaita ni makanisa kumbe hata sio makanisa. That there are some gatherings that we may end up 
supporting churches but they are not kwa sababu mioyo yetu tulikuemo huko because in our hearts we are there na bado tuliona maskofu wetu wako mahakamani and we will see our bishops in courts na bado hatukujua kitu and we never knew anything na tulichafuka mioyo yetu and we were dead for it tulikombana na wake zetu we fought with our wives wake zetu waligombana na sisi they were fought with the husband lakini sisi tulikuwa tunakemea mapepo kwa jina la Yesu and we will rebuke the devil see the name of Jesus mapepo kwa jina la Yesu devil see the name of Jesus tukana shetani kwa jina la Yesu we discuss you away with your satan wakati ni tabia zetu wenyewe but those are our habits hatukubali tusurubishi we do not acknowledge to crucify them. tunataka njia ya mkato we just need shortcuts kukemea mapepo to rebuke the demons unakemea mapepo january mpaka december you rebuke the demons from january to december bado uko mahakamani and still you are in court na mapepo yanapiga kelele nayo hayana hata akili and the demons are just shouting they do not have even that mind no kwa kweli analiogopa jina la Yesu and surely they fear the name of Jesus hata kama niko hapa utaliona linakimbia leo even if it were here you will see it running away sasa hivi utaliona tu tutakapoanza ukemea even now you shall see it wherever we start casting them away kwa sababu jina la Yesu because the name of Jesus ina mamlaka juu yake has authority over that hawezi kukaa he cannot stay lazima aondoke he has to move maana yeye ni giza because he is dark na Yesu ni nuru and Jesus is the light lazima kimbie he has to run away kwa jina la Yesu na watu waseme amen and all people should say amen Bwana sifiwe wapendo. Praise the Lord we love. Maana ni giza tu. Because that is the devil. Lazima likimbie. He has to run. Lakini tabia za mwili. But thus behaviors of the flesh. Matunda ya mwili ni zahiri ndio haya. The fruits of the flesh are these. Alafu na kuomba. And I ask you. Ukiona mtu anakasirika. If you see for the person getting angry. Mungu akupe kitu kimoja tu. God should give you one thing. Akupe ufunuo wa kujua hivi. To give you a revelation to Hilo ni tunda la mwili. That this is the fruit of the flesh. Au hajabeba msalaba leo. Maybe he is not carrying the cross. Au bado ni mtu wa mwili. Or he is still of the flesh. Sasa kama ni mtu wa mwili. If he is of the, of the flesh. Hayo ndio matunda yake. Those are the fruits of the flesh. Akikasirika. If he gets angry. Wewe usikasirike. Do not also get angry. Maana ukikasirika na wewe. Because if you also get angry. Na wewe ni wa mwili pia. You are also the flesh. Na Mungu anataka ahakikishe wewe ndani yako. And God wants to ensure that in you. Kuna hayo matunda. You do not have the flesh. Thing. Hayo yanaisha moyoni mwako. Those ends. Yeye yeye akichemka. Whenever he boils. Wewe uko sawa. You are safe. Maana wewe una hayo. Because you do not have them. Lakini ukipambana. But if you struggle. Wewe. You. Na yeye and him all of you are on the bench and then mahakamani haraka go to the court very quickly maana hakuna atakaye wasaidia because there is no assistance lakini ukitaka kuwa salama but if you want to be safe bali kipo cha msalaba accept it kwa huru you will be free salama you will be safe alafu utaenda ni kweli utatukanwa surely you will be insulted utadharauliwa you will be despised lakini barabara yako ndio itazidi kuwa safi but your path will be clean ya kuelekea mbinguni to go to heaven bwana tusaidie sana lord help us much bwana sifae sana praise the lord naomba tusimame let's stand up